The PowerMax 45 XP is a highly versatile and powerful plasma system. It is designed to use either a handheld or a mechanized torch for cutting, gouging, and marking metal. The system is easy to set up and operate, but please be sure to follow all safety instructions mentioned in the operator manual or illustrated on the label on top of the system. It is extremely important that operators fully understand and follow prevention methods to guard against electrical shock and to protect skin, ears, lungs, and eyes. Since there are so many variables in setting up the PowerMax 45 XP for mechanized applications, this video will focus on handheld operations, which are the most common for this model. Setting up the system for cutting with the Duramax Lock handheld torch can be done in six steps. First, install the consumables onto the torch, starting by inserting the swirl ring, then the electrode, followed by the nozzle. Screw the retaining cap on until finger tight, then add the drag shield. Second, slide the torch disable switch forward to the green position. Third, attach the torch to the power supply. Fourth, depending on the installation or the model purchased, an air fitting may need to be installed. If this is the case, then refer to the operator manual for sealant information and torque values. Once the air fitting is installed, attach the gas hose. The gas can be compressed air, bottled air, nitrogen, F5, or argon for marking applications. Compressed air should be filtered to remove all dirt, water, and oil because contaminants can damage the power supply, the torch, and consumables. The minimum gas pressure for cutting is 85 PSI or 5.9 bar and should not exceed 135 PSI or 9.3 bar. Fifth, attach the work lead to the power supply and to the metal to be cut. Rust, paint, or coatings must be removed to ensure that the clamp has a good electrical contact. The clamp should never be attached to the portion of the metal that will fall away. Sixth, plug the power cord into the proper receptacle, then power on the system. Depending on the model, the installation of a plug may be required or the system may be hardwired to a power source. This electrical work must be done by a licensed electrician. The PowerMax 45 XP is now set up for handheld cutting, but first, let's review the control panel. There are only two adjustments needed for operation, output current and mode selection. To adjust the output current, simply turn the knob to the right to increase the amperage and to the left to decrease. The output range is from 10 to 45 amps. To select the operating mode, cutting or gouging, press the mode button to toggle between the two processes. By default, the display shows the output current. If desired, the gas pressure may be adjusted by pressing the mode button while turning the knob to manually adjust the gas pressure for the operating mode that's active. The display changes from showing output current to gas pressure while the button is depressed. To change how the gas pressure is displayed, PSI or bar, press and hold the mode button for about 15 seconds until the display changes. Release the mode button, then the system will switch pressure values from PSI to bar or bar to PSI. Unlike its predecessor, the PowerMax 45 XP has SmartSense technology, so it will automatically adjust the air pressure, factoring in the torch lead length and the operating mode, ensuring the system is always set up correctly. In the event there's an error with the system, the display may show a fault code and one or multiple LEDs will illuminate. If this happens, refer to the troubleshooting section in the operator manual for more information. Let's start with cutting 5 8 inch 16 mm thick metal. The operating mode will be set to cutting and the output current set to 45 amps. If cutting thin metal, the output current should be lowered for improved consumable life and cut quality. To perform an edge start, hold the torch vertically just off the edge of the workpiece. Check the torch disable switch to see that it is green, ready to fire. Flip the black safety trigger forward and press the red torch trigger. The torch will emit multiple puffs of air in quick succession. This is an audible indication that the next time the torch trigger is pressed, the torch is active and will fire an arc. This will only happen after engaging the torch disable switch 
or unscrewing the consumables. Press the trigger again to start the pilot arc which will transfer to the workpiece and become the cutting arc. Pause at the edge until the arc has completely cut through the workpiece, then proceed with the cut. Holding the torch tip perpendicular to the workpiece, as well as maintaining proper travel speed, is key to successful cutting. Watch the arc beneath the plate, as sparks should exit the workpiece at between a 15 to 30 degree angle. If the sparks are perpendicular to the workpiece, then the speed is too slow. If the sparks are spraying up from the workpiece, then the speed is too fast, or the system does not have sufficient power. To ensure a complete cut, particularly on metal that is 5 eighths of an inch thick or greater. When nearing the edge, angle the torch by lifting the handle but keeping the tip on the metal, thus allowing the arc to come out first. A torch cutting guide, straight edge, or template can be an aid to the cutting process. However, the distance from the shield center to the edge must be factored in when creating a template or placement of a cutting guide. If making a bevel cut, the material thickness increases proportionally with the bevel angle, which should be factored in when determining the torch travel speed and amperage output. To start a cut away from the edge of the metal requires that the metal be pierced. The piercing capability of a system is typically half the maximum cut capacity. Depending on the thickness of the metal being pierced, there are three methods. If piercing thin metal, hold the torch on the metal and press the trigger to transfer the arc. If piercing thick metal, hold the torch at an angle so that the nozzle is within 1 8 inch from the workpiece. Press the trigger to transfer the arc, then slowly rotate it to an upright position. If the gouge left from the rolling technique is not desired, then hold the torch about 1 half inch above the metal and press the trigger to transfer the arc. Once the arc has penetrated the metal, place the torch on the surface and proceed to cut. It's recommended that the rolling technique be used on thick metal to minimize damage to the consumables caused by the blowback of molten metal. To cut expanded metal or metal with a lot of holes or gaps, simply follow the same procedure as outlined for plate cutting. To gouge for removing unwanted metal or weld, first slide the torch disable switch to the yellow position Install the maximum control gouge nozzle and gouge shield. Then slide the switch to the green position. Press the mode button so the gouge LED illuminates. To get a wide diffused arc for gouging, keep the current output set at 45 amps. Hold the torch at approximately a 40 degree angle from the workpiece with a small gap between the torch tip and the workpiece. Press the trigger to activate the torch then again to transfer the arc. Maintain this angle, then move the torch along the workpiece to remove unwanted metal or weld. More metal can be removed by making another pass or using a weaving technique. For different gouge profiles, the output amperage, torch angle, torch to work standoff, torch speed, and gouging nozzle type all have an effect. Refer to the gouging section in the operator manual for detailed information. If a narrower arc is desired, lower the current output. If lowering to 25 amps or less, then we recommend using the optional precision gouging nozzle and shield, which are sold separately. This specialized part is ideal for applications where precise amounts of metal are to be removed, such as around spot welds, marking for part identification, score lines for bend or weld locations, and creating dimples for drill starts. Cut and gouge quality, as well as consumable life, are very important factors for operators. There are a number of things that will determine cut and gouge quality, as well as how long the consumables will last. Air quality, piercing technique, length of cut or gouge, operator skill, material thickness and material type all play a role in consumable life. Cut and gouge quality is not only affected by operator skill, but also by the condition of the consumables, the use of correct consumable parts for the operating mode, and the proper overall system maintenance, including its gas filter. Hypertherm offers a variety of specialty consumables, unique hand and machine torches, cutting or gouging aids, and personal protective equipment, which are designed to enable you to complete your jobs faster, better, and safer. 
For more information about these and other Hypertherm products, please contact an authorized distributor or visit our website at www.hypertherm.com. On our site, there are how-to videos that were produced to help you get the most use out of your system in a variety of applications. Please register your system online at www.hypertherm.com slash register. Thank you from all of us at Hypertherm for purchasing a PowerMax 45 XP.